What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If you guys do recall, about three days ago, I unfortunately had my bike stolen out of my car. Yeah, it was a rookie move. I shouldn't have left it in there, but I didn't think I was gonna be at my house as long as I was, and so the calamity happened. I will say one little caveat. Today I got a phone call from my bank and they informed me that someone actually left my wallet with them. So I don't know if someone really found it in the parking lot or if the person just stupidly turned it in. Either way, I got my wallet back with three of the six credit cards. No ID, no cash, none of my little documents that I had in there. But you know what? It's all good. I've already parted ways with those belongings. In retrospect, the best thing I could do now is offer up some content that I think will help you guys. So this is gonna be my nine or 10 basic tips on what to do when your bike is stolen. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Now, I think people are gonna say, well, Alfredo, you're sponsored, so why do you even care? And yeah, I do have a bike there, a bike over there, I have a bike that my brother rides, and I have another bike that I could probably build from all the spare parts that I've gotten from my sponsors. But that's not the point. The point is that it's your personal belongings and you end up feeling victimized because someone went through your stuff and took what belongs rightfully to you. So once that is out of the way and you guys can cope with the fact that yes, I did place an order for a new bike, what I really wanted to do was I wanted to give that bike away to someone on my channel that I felt was worthy. So this is a caveat to something else that I'm gonna do down the road. I've talked it over with my sponsors, Sabrosa Brand, and I think I'm gonna actually get a second bike that's not gonna be like a complete pro level bike that I've been riding. Maybe I will ride it for a little bit, but either way, I'm gonna actually get a complete bike, whether it comes out of my pocket or not, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna find someone on my channel and I'm gonna fly out there and hand deliver the bike to them. So that's for something down the road, but keep a lookout for that. All right, so the unfortunate has happened and you got in your bike jacked. So what's the first thing you should do? Well, I look back now and what I did was I created content. Roll the footage. It's just a pretty shitty day or a pretty shitty way to start your day. So yeah, like basically how I noticed it was, you know, the door was open and my glove box was open and they took, they even looked like somehow I have like the little doggy bags when I clean up. The second thing I did after I got all that off my chest was to just breathe, you know, just count to 10, let it all out and just, First off, be grateful that you're not hurt. Secondly, you gotta keep in mind that if they stole something from you, they probably wanted it more badly than you, so they're probably willing to do a lot of things to get that bike. So you don't wanna confront people like this, especially if you know the target demographic of a BMX rider is somewhere between the like ages of 15 and 19. You're probably not exactly Conor McGregor and they're not gonna be able to you know, provide some whoop ass. So now that you've calmed down, the next best thing you can do is to think rationally and maybe retrace your steps, see where they could have gone to see if you see any trace of your bike. If you have a vehicle, hop in there and cruise around some local parks, maybe a skate park or somewhere that you think they might've gone. But again, keep calm. And if you do see them, maybe follow them inconspicuously, call the police, call your parents, or call some of your big homies that might be able to help you put a whoop ass on that person. But honestly, I do not recommend you getting any kind of confrontation. Alf does not condone violence. Although if I did catch the person that did steal my bike, I wouldn't put what I was gonna do to them on the channel. The third thing you should do is file the police report. And yeah, out here we're no snitches, but it is important that you do get this documented because number one, it'll make it so that police patrol your area a little more and they're looking out for these bikes. Number two, there's an actual record. So if you do have homeowner's insurance or insurance with, you know, you, let's say you have a camera bag and that was stolen as well, you might have some like PPA insurance, then you can file a claim as long as you have receipts for your bike. And this one is kind of interchangeably with number three. So this will be number four, but it can also be number three and number four, which is file a police report can go underneath this, but post it on your Instagram, post it on your Facebook, DM your closest friends, tell anybody, tag all your favorite sponsors. Maybe somebody will be nice enough and repost it. I know I've reposted a lot of people's bikes in the past and it, I think it does help because more eyes are out looking for it. Okay, this next one is pretty big. Go to some local skate parks, ask around. Oftentimes people that steal bikes have an idea of their worth and they might know someone that rides or someone that's at a skate park that can tell them like how they can get rid of it, sell it or whatnot. Next up, check online. See here, I've got some tabs open and these are legitimately the ones that I was looking for. This precious little bike that's no longer with me. But yeah, so I went on Facebook and I checked some groups 
Then I went on Offer Up to see if there's any bikes that look like mine. I went to Craigslist, same thing. And then on eBay. eBay is probably the least best, but you know, it's worth checking out. All right, so now you've exhausted all your resources. You checked the local parks, you checked Instagram, you checked Backpage, you checked all that other stuff, and then nothing, right? So now the next thing you wanna do is start asking some of your friends if they have like old BMX parts because you probably don't have the expendable income to just go and buy another one. Probably your parents don't either. So the best thing to do is just kind of ask around, be nice, and don't just ask things for free, but just ask if they have anything for cheap or something that they're gonna throw away or anything like that. That way you can start piecing your bike together and hopefully in that time while you're kind of like killing some time by assembling a new bike, maybe your bike turns up. Oftentimes if it does, it's gonna be spray painted with all this other stuff. They might take parts, swap them out. So if you have some spare parts that you're building and you do find your bike, now you can put it back together with some better parts. Now, if you really are tapped out for a budget, the next best thing you can do is go on eBay, offer up a Craigslist and find a used complete bike. Oftentimes, if a new complete bike retails for about 350 bucks, you can probably get it used for like 200 bucks or maybe a buck 75. And yeah, it's not gonna replace your bike, but at least you're not gonna be without a bike and you're not gonna be without your form of transportation, your love, your passion, and just the familiarity you have with it. A lot of times I get a lot of DMs from kids that are like, Alfredo, I got my bike stolen, I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna quit BMX. That's the least thing you ever wanna do because if that makes it for that person that took your bike, they violated you on multiple levels. First, they took something that belongs to you and now they're taking your passion. You really don't want that. So if for no other reason than just to like salt them back, never quit. If anything that should make you wanna get your bike quicker, build something and get better than before. And that negative person is gonna get their just karma anyway, so don't even worry. Life has a way of dealing with these people. And I mean, that kind of wraps it up. Again, you know, it's a very unfortunate thing and I still feel like pretty violated because, you know, they broke into my car, took a lot of my belongings, especially my AirPods and my bike. Those are the two things that hurt the worst because those are the things that like are with me every single day. You know, my bike, whether or not I ride every day, is near me. Like it's either at the shop, it's in my back seat, it's at my house, wherever. But I at least like to know that it's there and if I want to do a hot bar or grind a rail, I can. But for the next three or four days until my new bike comes, you know, I'm not gonna be able to. And yes, I know, I'm very fortunate and very thankful that I have great sponsors that are taking care of me. I know a lot of you guys don't have that same luxury, but you know, I have been doing this for the last 15 years. So I think I have earned a little bit of a right to be able to, you know, get a new bike quickly because I have made my life of this. I'll end this video on a positive note. I've been thinking about this and I kind of want to start something along the lines of where, imagine like a personalized eBay just specifically for BMX that we have things that you sell, things that you trade and things that you give away. So we give it away in a sense of like, it goes to a communal pot, you know, maybe it's like at the OSS store or somewhere else, doesn't matter. But when something like this happens and we can verify that your bike did get stolen, it's not some way to swindle us, we can maybe help piece together some parts and send them your way and then you know, once you get your bike, you get back on your feet and you buy some new parts and you get those old parts and you send them back to this place. And then we kind of pass the torch forward to the next person that needs it. If you like that idea, let me know. Leave it in the comments section. You know, I read those very vigorously. But that's gonna do it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed this little informational video. I kind of am left with very little right now to make content for you guys because you do want full BMX content. But since I don't have my bike, I really can't do that. John Hicks mentioned he might let me borrow one. So we'll see. But anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't, subscribe. See you later, guys. Ciao. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it.